All right, we are live. I'm Dana Feigum, I'm here, and we are Google Hangouting or YouTubing with Yenti Almonte, pitcher, uh, was with the Yard Goats the second half of the season. Yenti, where are you right now? I'm in Arizona right now, honestly, I'm in the locker room. Hanging in your locker? He's hanging in my locker right now, he's finished for the day. Back out here tomorrow. So what have you been up to ever since uh, the season ended in September? Uh, after the season ended, I went to Instructs and came out here with Sam for a little bit. Then from there, I went back home. And honestly, I've been back and forth for every two weeks in Arizona until I finally came out now and a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to stay out here just spring training. Uh, where's home for you? Miami, Florida. Miami. So nice weather no matter where you are. Pretty much, except, you know, Miami weather, one day is raining, the next moment it's not. So it's more humid back home. <laughs> so you were added to the 40-man this off season. What was that like for you? Uh, honestly, it was a blessing. I wasn't expecting it at all. I knew last season was my 40-man season. So I kind of took that into my head where I have to make that season better than, honestly, any season I've had in pro ball. And luckily, I have got the phone call from Zach Wilson that I went to like a deep on the 40 match. So honestly, the blessing. Where were you when you got that phone call from Zach Wilson? I had mm -hmm. just been in gang home from a workout. And right when I got home, literally like two minutes later, I see a phone call from Zach Wilson. I don't know what it was about. And he calls <laughs> me and gives me the news. And I instantly went to my mother and let her know. She went crazy, called my brother, called my dad. And that's how that went. That's awesome. That must have been amazing for you. Um, so you had a great season here in Hartford. You came from Modesto. Was it hard transitioning from Modesto to Hartford? Uh, honestly, I don't think it was. I just kept in my mind said uh, it's still the same game. It's a baseball game. You just had to go out there and compete and try to win. And I had a couple guys like Basto and Howard who talked me into it, told me that it's not anything different. Just come out, do what I know how to do best. And that's what my, my mindset was when I was out there. Definitely. Is uh, Sam out there in Arizona with you? Yeah, he's out here now. He came, We came out and well, he got out here in December for a little bit. And he's been out here since January 6th. And he's staying out here also through spring training. And we're waiting on Vasto. Does he want to come say hi? He's honestly just went into the showers. Oh, he went into the showers. OK. He did that on purpose, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, so Gary Vasto wants to know if you miss him. He asked us to ask you on Twitter. Gary Vasto, that is my brother. He's honestly one of my brothers. He's one of the first guys I met when I got over to the Rocky Man trade. And instantly clicked. I met, I met Sam through him. And as you guys have you seen in Double A, we were always together. So he's like my older brother to me. And of course, I miss him. I'll see him soon. You'll see him soon. <laughs> so uh, you guys report February, or everyone reports on the 14th. What are you doing up until the 14th? I was honestly just been working out and trying to get my body right for a season. I know <laughs> this season, hopefully, is a season where they go to the fight with the main goal. <laughs> that's what I to tell her right there. But who, who else is in the locker room with you right now? Sensatella, Marquez, Estevez. <laughs> Do they want to come say hi to all of their Hartford Yard Goods fans? I'll make it easy. I'll go to them. Okay. You'll go to them? Yeah. Some of my all-time favorites. But, hey, diga la onda aquí a la gente. Hola. Hartford. Oh, mira. What's up? Long time no see. How are you? Hey, como están? Hey, hey, what about you? Good. Good? Nice. Ready nice for to see baseball. you. <laughs> Yeah, was, uh, some of our some of our road buddies from this second half of the season. A bunch of good guys right there. So is it just a few pitchers are there right now, or some other position players there? There's honestly like I'll say close to about forty or more of us. Oh wow! Yeah, big league guys, first year guys, AAA guys. Uh, I know Gonzo's here, but he's getting married sometime this week, so he's not here right now. Jimmy Ola's out here. 
Another guy oh, added to the in, Jimmy Ola. Yes, Jimmy Ola, uh, Mo got added also, Shane Carl added. He's out here also. Some of the big league guys like uh, Chatwood, Bettis, Story, Walters, the Lakers out here, Patterson's out here. Yeah, we have a, a fun staff, fun group out here. So are you kind of picking the older guys' brains, especially the other pitchers' brains, a little bit while you're out there? Yeah, I've been, I've been talking to Chadwood and uh, Gray. Let's see uh, if I can ask them what is it like up there, and they all tell me the same thing. Just do what I know how to do best, which is go out there and compete. That if you overthink it, that's when you struggle. Right, right. Uh, so eat for uh, uh, spring training. Where do you live for spring training? Uh, come out. I'll be in a house living off base for the first month of spring, and then come March, I'll be rooming with Sam in the hotel. Nice, nice. Do you guys do anything fun, or are you guys pretty much exhausted by the end of the day? Uh, I know during spring training, it's a hassle. Is up here early in the morning, get out in the afternoon, so most of the time, we just go back home and shut it down for the next day. Video games? No, shut it down, shut it down, yeah. Sometimes this day, is, like sleep. I guess you can say a little nap here and there well, doesn't hurt. So, anything else? Um, you're excited. Ramp up the season. Hopefully, we'll see you here in Hartford for our sake, because we love you. You're great with the fans. You're great. Appreciate it. You know, you just always have a bubble. What do you say? I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I know you were great. Um, when I saw you on the road this season, and we were excited to have your bubbly personality um, on the team, especially you guys embracing that road trip. Um, <laughs> have you heard much about the um, Dunkin' Donuts Park, the brand new ballpark? No, I've honestly, I've, I've seen pictures, I've seen uh, tweets on it, and it looks sick. Honestly, it looks sick. I can't wait to see it. And we've yeah, been talking about it a lot. I've heard about the fan support. It's, it's going to be pretty dope. Yeah, sellouts every night. It's going to be awesome. Um, so anything else? Is there... Any, you know, fun things you guys do that no one knows about or other things that we should know about you? Uh, well, about me, it's just you're never going to see me, like, angry no matter what. I'm always, like, <laughs> you're going to find me with a smile on my face. I'm going to be laughing. I'm always going to be kind of the clown in the group. And even yeah. um, either on the field. Once I'm on the field, it's, it's game time. But, you know, once I'm off the line, it's – once there's no field on the field, it's off the field, off the field. So – that's pretty much me, and I'm sure the fans will see that. And what um, – do you have any superstitions, pregame superstitions, or anything the day before you pitch? Uh, not – honestly, no. I think I might have when I first signed. I was younger, you know, overthinking stuff. But as I got older, gone from team to team, I feel like I just go out there and take it day by day and try to control what I can control. Yeah, nothing. Do you like eat anything? Like get ready a certain way or different? Uh, I guess I think um, when I was in Modesto, I had like I went to like a subway phase on starts. I would go get subway for a start, and for some reason, I felt like I was working. Any particular kind of sandwich? Uh, BMT. Oh, that's all okay. I get. So um, you're done for the day at the. Um, Training facility, what do you do? Go home, take a nap? Uh, I'll be heading home now and go set up a new place where I'll be staying after this month. So I'll go meet my agent and a couple of guys who are staying with me. Go set everything up. Who are you living I'm with? I'm out here tomorrow. A uh, kid named Trace Lower from the A's and a kid named Ryan, who's with the Giants. We're in the same agency, and I, I just met him, honestly, this offseason. When my agent told me I was not have roommates, but they're pretty good guys. Oh, that's awesome. So it's not even Rockies players? No, no. I was supposed Sam to be a little butthurt about that? No, Sam has his own place, you know, you know big timing us. I'm oh, big kidding, timing you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're, we're supposed to get our own place in March, but we decided to go back to the hotel. And since he was my roommate and instructs, really, you know, we look pretty good together. We we'll just go do that, and I think Vasto is going to be out here. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh wait, I forgot to ask you. What was um? You were down in DC. 
yeah, played so about I was out there in the Ricky Career Development Program. It was uh, there for four days. It was honestly a crazy experience. It was great. A lot of Hall of Fame guys speaking to us. We even had Adam Aldovino out there speaking to us. And just, just trying to teach us the rights and wrongs of what to expect on one day you make the transition to the big leagues, how to manage your money, how to be smart with your money, how to address the media. And like I said, I'm not big on the media. You know, I'm, I'm kind of nervous when it comes to talking to camera, but trying to get better at it. So I, I, good right now. Um, yes, yeah, I guess so what I went out there to go do kind of helped me out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, especially if you're here in Hartford, the media is going to be like swarming you guys. So that's really helpful um, that they do that media preparation for you because I know, especially working with college athletics too, guys aren't really prepared and it's nice that they're setting you up for success out there. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good experience. Who was there with you? Uh, Antonio Sensatella, German Marquez, and Jordan Patterson from the Rockies. And then, so did they freshen up on their English, Marquez and Sensatella? Uh, they're actually pretty good. Most people don't think that, but they know. They actually know a lot. Yeah, they know. They know their English. They just pretend to me that they don't yeah, know. Their English. That, that's that's exactly how it is. Those guys, they're <laughs> they're clowns. They, I think Tapia. Tapia, he he's out here too. He's not here right now, but he's another one. He understands a lot more than people think. He says, no say. <laughs> yeah, that, that's your go-to. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time. I know you're very busy out there getting ready for the season. Um, good luck at spring training. And hopefully we see – we hope we see you in Hartford. Um, yeah. Does anyone else want to say hi? That's everyone. That's everyone? Yeah, that's everyone. Uh, Sam says hi. Hi, Sam. You're our next target next week. Hopefully we'll be Sam chatting. Next man. target. You're the next target next week. So get ready. He said no. He said, no. He said he changed his number. <laughs> but, awesome. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you so much. And hopefully we'll hear great things about you soon out at spring training. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye.